Hello everyone, and we are back in my franchise zoo. Welcome back to my channel, welcome back to Planet Zoo. And today we are going to build this habitat of our capuchin monkey. Um, we will potentially do this in a little bit of a different way because I think I have to pause the game because uh, we still have some of the issues that animals may sometimes not drink, um, which could occur, but we are just waiting for it um, if it's happening or not. So as long as we don't get the infos, we keep the game running. But I think, um, yeah, well, as soon as this is starting to happen, we might just hit pause for a second because I definitely don't want to risk uh, my game uh, to get broken. However, last episode, I asked you guys if you were for a new start or not. Now, I did discover this wonderful uh, new poll tool to the top right now of the screen. You will see a little poll um, asking you whether we should continue with this park or if we should start a new one. Now, this is really important for me because I definitely want to make sure that you guys are having fun. And for me, it's fine to still keep the zoo because obviously last time my zoo got bankrupt this time it didn't um now there is a, a huge possibility that the new uh start will be kind of cool because we have already some research we have already some animals so we can do a pretty good start and maybe focus a bit more on the efficiency of the building but it's totally up to you guys uh, and this floating staff member over here um so yeah please let me know if you want to see a new start or keep the varan Kiato zoo uh, at least then we would have less snow in another biome though. <laughs> okay, let's uh, do it and start our building approach here. Now, one thing, I will pause the game quickly because I definitely want to make sure that I uh, do the building first um, and then check out where we can put the enrichment pieces, um, mainly because I want to make sure that they also have like a little bit of a privacy area in here. Uh, which is going to be like their little shelter. Um, but before we do this, I am just willing to finish off my little bridge area here. So but it's not really a bridge. It's it's kind of like a, a, a subtle incline. I want to call it hill incline. I don't know. Um, and just make sure that this all looks very... Uh, yeah, it's, it's almost like jungle-ish because we're using uh, these pieces over here. It looks like very dark soil. In fact, it's mulch, so it is kind of dark soil, um, even though it's mulch. You know what I mean, okay? <laughs> so, um, okay, also people have been commenting, and that's kind of very helpful comments, to be honest. Uh, people have been commenting that I might, you know, talk too quick in some of the episodes. And, you know, in the episodes, it's kind of hard because, well... I have the time to focus on talking and I don't need to to play at the same time. So I really do hope that during the Let's Play it's all a bit more easy. If so, um, that's fine. Uh, if not, keep commenting and I'm, I'm trying to make it even slower. But I think it's mainly down to my personal preference, to be honest, um, of how I like to consume my media. I don't know if it's exactly, if it's exactly my, my kind of consume, but I really, if I watch some YouTube videos and there is someone talking too slow, at least what, you know, it's always subjective, I do understand that, but if I feel this this person is talking too slow, I get bored so freaking quickly. Um, and it doesn't really matter if that dude might be good or not or whatever. I'm just like very picky when it comes to this because I'm like, hey, come on, hurry up, do it, hurry up, okay? Uh, so this is maybe the reason why I try to make my commentaries a bit quicker, but it's also like just the way how I talk. So um, again, if this is too quick for you and you cannot really follow, well, that's a good hint for me and I can always try to find a middle ground, which I'm happy with, but you guys are happy with it too. So make sure to always let me know if you feel that something is a bit too quick. Uh, I'm very very happy to change it if that helps you to enjoy the videos. Now, um, I I just want to talk about uh, the DLC after a few days now. I, I think really now I have a feeling of, of how I do like this DLC quite a bit. Uh, and I must say, it's absolutely weird for me how this DLC can feel so different from the Arctic one. I think the Arctic one was a decent one, but... I, in the long term, it didn't offer me too much, um, mainly because I think the animals in there were kind of, like, in terms of creativity, what you could do with them, a bit limited. Like, I don't want to call them limited per se, but they were limited in the way what you could do with them. And it was very particular, like, winter animals. And tropical is just like, you can you can basically put them in anything that is warm, can be done. And so uh, this is uh, mainly one of the big advantages that this package definitely offers um, 
or this this DLC pack I should call it and this is why I think I'm a huge fan of this one like I wasn't when it was announced but now I am I love the new animals I think the animals all the choices that Frontier made with these new animals offer a lot more for the game I'm really really happy by what they did add and what they uh, chose to add in terms of the animals even though I would love some alpacas at one time uh, in the future too but uh, you know you cannot have, every have everything at the same time okay you, you have to be patient you have to be looking forward and I think this is uh, again one thing I I want to stress a bit more especially about games and people in in general I think especially in the times that we're, we are living in at the moment it really shows that it is good to learn some patience and at some points just make sure that you know you don't have everything at the at the same time and at the right time sometimes the wait for something is even better than the actual fulfillment of that one desire just because it, it is such a huge thing uh to have something at a certain point um that you know going there getting there is something much more of importance than the actual fact that having i, I hope you understand what i what I mean by that it's just really I, I figure at the moment that I will be so much more looking forward to meeting my friends again and stuff that became almost normal and you, you took that for granted becomes very special again and I, I do have to say the thing with perception and reality is no matter how often you say that when there is nothing happening that makes you feel this way humans are very likely to fall back into their normal behavior and Honestly, that's gonna happen again. People will fall back in their normal behavior. But it's great to at least have a specific moment and a specific time now to realize how good life can be and how, how good things can be. I think the same goes for also updates with games. You know, at some point, I you know, I'm, I'm at the very front when it comes to complaining about this game at some points uh, because I just have the feeling it can be so much better. But again, I, I do also recognize how great this game is. And if you see how many hours I put already in made, making videos and how many hours I already spent designing stuff and, and watching also YouTube videos of this game, it shows how great it is. And at some point, it's always fair to just go back and also praise Frontier for what they achieved. And yes, obviously, it can always be better. There's always room for improvement. But I also find it equally important to point out how cool and how great the game already is, uh, time being. So yeah, I think that's just what I, I think I wanted to talk about this briefly because I, I felt the urge of, of communicating this because I, yeah, I just feel this fits the, the, the current time a little bit. And uh, yeah, I just hope you guys uh, can see it, what I'm trying to make here and I'm trying to point out. But yeah, while well, I'm talking about these things, as you can see, I am... I'm just randomly placing rocks, it's not that randomly to be honest, I'm just placing the rocks in a way that we create a bit of a jungle-ish environment here. And uh, yeah, I think we are getting there quite nicely. Uh, yeah, so this guy, let's just go cover this up as well. And then we are nearly done with this area. Let me just like take this one. Doom, doom, doom. Good. I think it fits nicely. We also have to make sure that the staff members can still reach the things, um, which I'm not really sure if they still can, because that path over here is sometimes already quite narrow, so I really hope that I'm I'm not destroying it by my rock placement here. Because the, ro the rocks, as we all know, have some, some hitboxes. <laughs> there are some huge hitboxes in the rocks. I don't even know sometimes why, but it's actually fact, so... Well, and can I just, like... That. See, that's, that's definitely not working, what I'm doing over here. So, I'm just going to pull that in even further. Just hoping that this creates not too too much of a barrier for the staff members to go. Really hope that this narrow road is still suiting them. Hmm. Pretty much doubting it at this point. So, trying to not put in too many huge stones here. Just going to make like a spiral stone element here. I think that could look nice. It does. It does actually look nice, so let's gonna put that one down here and then just put another little fencing. I just wanna make sure that I do hide away this path here because that is kind of ugly. The, the white curb is not looking great, so I'm gonna bring that all in here. And we can just always use some, some smaller rocks here and there to just make sure that this is all covered up and the rest will be done by a mulch. My favorite piece, mulch. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's so good. Okay, so how long is the episode? Uh, 10 minutes. Oh, that's actually pretty solid. I, d I did do some good work in 10 minutes, I guess. Praising myself here a little bit. <laughs> uh, it's sometimes if you if you're doing these these kind of episodes and and you know videos, uh, you <laughs> you don't really get that much done because you're like focusing on what you say. But yeah, taking it a bit slower and just talking about random stuff makes it easier for me <laughs> to to build at the same time. And also placing rocks is uh, you know not the hardest task. It's almost as I said, I always compare this to uh, slapping. Slapping soil in uh, uh, Minecraft back then. That was always a fun little task to do. Okay, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna make sure that this is already some one-sided glass here and then just uh, change the direction. Awesome, so that's kind of the first viewing point over here. And then I think I'm gonna lower this down here and then we're just gonna raise that one. Just gonna make sure that this is uh, some kind of greenish color, like very, very green. I think that's nice. Yeah, that's the kind of greenish color I want to go for. So kind of glass look, and this is then we will put some plants in here. That's like gonna be very much of uh, a block here, so that's kind of important. Uh, how's the traversal area again for you dudes? Uh, because I wanted to check this quickly. Hello. Okay, I just want to unpause the game quickly because they will be reset. Yep, this is it. Just gonna quickly wait for it and travel the area. Okay, so that looks all pretty solid and good, <laughs> even though, yeah, well, I don't know if the staff member can still traverse through here. Yeah, and also, if I. I need to make sure that the animals cannot climb up here. I need to make sure that this is a bit like over here so that I can make sure. Oh, well, they can actually they can move here with that, but I do need to dig deeper here. Okay, that's fine gonna do this quickly uh, even though I'm not even sure if I can do it though uh, oops this is pulling up I don't want to pull it up I pull it down pull it down pull it down so let's see I'm just gonna, ah I, I remember this has changed oh it's gonna make this a bit more smooth smoothly smooth and uh, well the animals will still be able to go up here so I guess uh, what we will have to do is lower that down as well. Let's bring that up again. And create the same color. Like so. And then, I think that's fine. And we're gonna cover the rest up with some rocks and stuff. So make sure that this area is almost looking like the backstage area over here. And what are we going? I think it could look nice if we are just following the idea of a okay we have to we have to adjust the height with all of those walls here let's say like that two meters is maybe too too less so we're gonna bring this higher up to two five uh to make sure that also not the tallest people can um look inside the habitat because i do want to make them look up that's it but i don't want to make them look inside the habitat as of here already so we come into this area you can see them climbing up here but i want the people to go into this open area and see this rock from the front that's the idea and then we can maybe make some kind of some sort of uh, viewing uh kind of display over here we could also you know what we could do we can also put like a window in there let's say a window one-sided yes and then we're gonna change it wait there we go change the sides and uh, yeah, why not? They do have this little bit of uh, viewing over here. There's a kind of little... I don't even know if they could traverse it, but I... Yeah, well, whatever. Look at that. There is one dude sitting in here. You, uh, Marco. Marco. Can you please come out, Marco? Marco. I don't need you inside there, Marco. Marco. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring them an inside area quickly. And uh, this is going to be... The shelter even though the whole building will be a shelter anyway so just want to make sure that they don't run too deep into this thing uh, and this is just a little bit of a nice area for them to recover i don't want to make it too big as i said just because i do want to make them roam around in the free a lot so that's the main reason um so i'm gonna call oh wait we don't need to look for the bedding right now but we can just put this here 
with these leaves there. Okay, so this is kind of the nice little bedding area. Why not? That's kind of cool. And then we can give them also a smaller bedding below there. Awesome. And just do the rest of the rock work now. Just to make sure that they have a nice area indeed. So I'm gonna put a rock here, another one here, and another one here. Yeah, well, I think that's impossible that the staff member is able to go there. So let's just drag that thing back like this and then just put some some soil there. You know, we can just quickly test this uh, by putting some kind of enrichment item on top here because that should be um, the reason. Uh, we're going to put in capuchin and then there should be... Okay, let's put a block of ice on top here just to make sure to see if the staff member can reach it because if not we're gonna get a message soon yeah so that is what I meant and now we have to keep that open and see how much we need to change it until they can walk there so let's see what it fixes we can always like okay can they already reach it that was it you must be kidding that's it already I mean I take that but hey or did I just no, I didn't. So it means they can they can reach it now? Oh, wow. Honestly? That is so cool. Okay, so what we also put up here then is we're gonna... Uh, oops. No, no, no. Um, because I figured that this works kind of well, we're going to put them a water bowl up top here as well. So they're gonna fill this everywhere. Um, I'm gonna bring them a lot of water bowls all over the place so that they need to climb to the different areas. Uh, this is the idea behind the water bowls. Like this, alright. And they're also getting a water pipe, which is going to be... I hate this water pipe though, it looks so ugly, but yeah. I'm gonna bring this thing here and then we're gonna make sure that the color is somewhat rockish colored. There you go. Yeah, that blends in nicely. So that means the staff member can get up here. Awesome. However, the staff member is not really aligned to this area because we don't have anyone yet. Let's quickly do this, okay? So we're gonna put a staff facility here, gonna staff room, a small staff room should be the one thing that we need. I'm gonna put this thing right in here. There we go. And we're gonna give them also a keeper hut next to it yes I'm gonna connect it with the staff pathing that's length two no one asked you for length two okay so let's delete this bit quickly for a second um, yeah I like that we can smooth it out now smooth it out smooth it out okay so this is done uh, this will be now uh, the visitor area Okay, we can already delete this path thing over here. I just didn't want to make the guest come here already um, to make sure that this still looks fine. I think, we're gonna, you know, why not? It's like a tropical house. We can have these lock, it's called lock rounds path, whatever. I'm gonna make this six wide and please no, this one is not what we want. I wanna make sure that this curls, can I just, yeah. So exactly like this, and I'm just gonna lead the path over here to the exit already, just to make sure that I have a path how it goes. And then that should be it. I'm gonna connect this later. However, I'm gonna connect. Oh wait, no, I need to connect this quickly because that's where the staff members go. Yeah, you know what, we're just gonna delete this for a bit. We just need one, okay, that's fine, just one. A piece of staff passing for the moment so actually you know what no we can already open it because I will definitely open it sooner than later so let's yeah yeah ter terrain to uneven I saw that but now oh wait I can still have one and now we get smaller wait oh I can what's that I found a new key oh the hash key I can change path on the hash key how good is that um or I didn't know that that's cool I just actually wanted to make the path smaller, but well, I think I take that. <laughs> That's so cool. Wait, are you kidding me? Like I, oh wait, I, I found, there was a connection. Yeah, there you go. There is the connection. It's gonna get thinner quickly, but then it's fine. And just gonna make this this way. So this is the backstage access for the mandrels. Do I have already uh, a roster for the mandrels though? Wait, no. There you go. 
work zones. Um, let's see. God, I've got so many unnamed ones. This should be something better in the new one as well, if we do a new zoo. Okay, so gonna do this first. This is going to be the Capuchin Monkey. And that is it, okay. So this is one and we create another one. Just gonna do this and this. And then this is going to be the Mendrel. There you go. And then let's see, do we have any, any staff member who's not having a work zone? Let's say uh, keeper, where are our keepers? Okay, we're gonna sort by a work zone. Okay, these are no work zone members. Is there any keeper without a work zone? Yes. So you do have a high workload, even though you have no, okay. You know what we do, we just employ two more keepers then. One and two. And uh, you wait, I just need to unpause it quickly. All right. So you are the new Mendrel one. Let's see where it is. Uh, it is the Mendrel M. Uh, okay, let's do Kampushi Monkey first because I didn't find the Mendrels. Uh, I didn't find the Mendrels. So what is that? Grizzly, D D D D D Mendrel. Okay, done. Awesome. So this is the this is the entrance here. I do want to make sure that this entrance looks a bit nicer though. At the moment, I I don't really like it. Okay, so gonna make sure that because this dude is like floating in here directly which I yeah no that's not gonna happen anymore <laughs> so no we're just gonna make him or her or whoever is coming in a little bit of a platform here there you go and then we just use these rocks to create a little bit of a staircase almost like this okay I also want to have like a water feature in here water but I, you know, there is not that much space for making a proper water feature. I wonder if I can do it in the back here, just to make sure that we have some sort of... But I mean, no one can even see that, right? So we're looking from over here. You would only... Oh, well, you would see that in the back, but yeah. No, I'm not going to focus on that. Vet research is complete. Awesome. Oh, by the way, they're all researching, right? Are we researching the Capuchin monkey as well? No, we are not yet. Um... Okay, let's say you stop, you stop, and you stop. You're gonna do the mandrel. You're gonna do this one. The grizzly bear. Oh, we don't have a grizzly bear in at the moment. Hmm. Because the last one died, right? Okay, maybe we fix that at the end of this episode. I, I will definitely forget, but yeah. <laughs> at least I thought of it for a split second. Uh, we only have male capuchin monkeys. Let me just quickly check if in the animal market we now have a capuchin monkey uh, no that is a mandrel right wait no but i i did f oh i did i did filter by both can i okay let's say reset the filter there's still no female are you ki like seriously there's like no female oh my god that is uh, very unfortunate. Okay, we, we need to keep checking that, but yeah. So is their vet research complete? Okay, that's good. Bengal tiger is now 100%, that is good. It's good for our ed education rating, because at the moment, I need to f make a fix the things episode, because as you can see, toilet is bad, thirst is bad, energy is bad, happiness is bad. Education is pretty solid though, but yeah. Uh, no, you just, wait, did you already? You didn't, okay, so. Just no, okay? So just no, okay. Yeah, yeah, Dull Sheep didn't do anything wrong. I think the shade, by the way, helped uh, to make the uh, privacy a bit better for the animals. I don't know why, but the idea was kind of good, I guess. <laughs> All right, so um, we've done that. Let's pause the game quickly. Uh, we've given them anything, everything they need. Uh, let's quickly do the terrain for them because that, wa well, it is good. We can actually have a lot less soil and a bit more grass, actually. I love, I love that these animals love so much long grass. Finally, animals that like long grass, you know. That is uh, kind of what we need. Let's do it that way. Just a bit more jungle-ish, okay? So this is exactly what we need. Awesome. So this is, a, this is a proper jungle over here. Jungle. Awesome. Then we can just go and, and do some rock in the middle here. So that is kind of where you need it. Awesome. And then we are also going to make some long grass up on here. Up on here. Awesome. Just gonna make some rock. Whoops, that's too big though. There should, should be some rock over here. Blends it a bit better. Awesome. Okay, now let's go into 
Um, let's say tropical is fine. So it's gonna go property climbable, and then we obviously go to all. Just go to have some of these trees. That is awesome because we need to make sure how well this tree is even higher though, so we can actually have that one here. And then we give them some palm trees. I want to make sure that I put them all in places that we can just have them climb up and down then. So is there a lower palm tree? That's not really low. Hmm. Now we can just, uh, this one is pretty tall indeed. I'm just gonna make sure that I have this like so. And then, I don't know. This one looks fairly solid to have two of them in here. Awesome. So another one goes here. And then I like these trees also a lot. I mean, one of these can definitely go up here. Or maybe not, maybe not the highest peak, but here. I'm gonna connect them all with ropes and stuff. So that is what we are going to do next. They can also, cr oh, that one is nice too. Even though it might be a bit too big, but who knows. Okay, let's see where we can, no, not here, but I, I don't know, I'm, I'm quite a fan of this tree. We can also block the view of this mountain a bit, why not? Just make sure that we don't, you know what, we, we can actually take that palm tree away from here and then just put it somewhere in the back here. That should be better. Yes, that is better. Now, that looks, that looks fairly okay to me. Now we do need to connect this all with some ropes uh, to make sure that the animals can climb it all. Uh, they also have these branches to climb, so I want to give them a few of these branches too here and there. Just make sure, but we don't like them just a lot. We can we can use these branches a lot nicer than anything else to make sure that we connect some ropes to them. Yeah, no, not here. <laughs> I'm gonna put another one here. You can always have like another branch connected to it. Just like this. Just can run over there as well. Just have a bit of a climbing need fulfilled with that one. Just have ropes. I, I just want to have ropes everywhere now so that they're just climbing a lot. And we put them the most fun stuff to play with right on top so that they will have to climb all the way there. Okay, so now let's uh, hit rope. We are like 27 minutes in, so it's fine. Like a few more minutes and then we can end this episode. Just have a look how the animals use it. Now, let me just take the longer one and connect the different pieces. So that is going to go down here. That's already nearly fitting, right? I'm gonna move that slightly in. I do wanna make sure that this is actually connected. So here you go. We just need to target again. <laughs> I love this game. It's almost like a shooting game, okay? So just go here and then just pull the target down. Awesome. And then we should be able to just drag it in there we go connect it awesome so that is connected and then we're going to connect the next one just pull that on here just rotate and now let's hit again for the next I want to go for this branch there though let's move this in so that we do have a proper starting point awesome and now we're going to hit for this this branch I hope I can I can hit it oh god this will be this will be kind of finicky looks Looks good to me though. Maybe a bit further to here. Boom. Okay. Now let's see. Oh, I hit it. Ha. My my skill is incredible. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, that was so stupid. Uh, let's use the same thing over here again. I'm just gonna connect from over here to the palm tree. The palm tree. It's time to hit again. The target. Right. Okay. So let's let's shoot for the target again. I do want to go for this branch. Boom. I hope I hit it. I don't know. Yes. Hit it. Awesome. So we have these ropes connected quite nicely. I have like all the way hanging one over here. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to take... Actually, we're going to take the smaller one. The two meters straight. I'm gonna rotate this and then just hit it in here. Awesome. And then we need to focus again on the target though this is a bit harder because there's a branch in the way so let's just try to move as much in the center as we can and then that should be all fine okay now what I want to do is I want to have this one a bit more hanging so let's say that one so we just have it as like a little hanging rope okay so this is it and just bring it up again not as hard though but like, like this Awesome, 
And now <laughs> we didn't hit it. Oh, we did. We can just go to this branch then. And just pretend I wanted to go for this branch the whole time, okay? I did want to. I always, I always hit this branch, okay? I didn't want to do anything else. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. Yeah, we do, do have this uh, in here. And this looks well, actually okay. Well, let's do another one from over here. That's connecting again with this tree. Just try to aim a bit better like before. Uh, it should be fine for the branch. Here we go. Awesome. Uh, we, at least we will hit one branch, right? Yeah, no, that's fine. Boom. Hit. Okay. So we've got this, this nicely. Okay. So we've got all these things here. Uh, I think that's fairly okay. I want to go now like a very bold one from this branch over here. I'm going to take the four meter one and then we're going to hit for that one. This will be, this will be quite interesting if we hit this one. So let's see. Okay. Let's first of all we need to connect nicely enough. And now let's see if I I think that would be it. I don't know if this is good. Let's just drag it. I think we just barely missed out. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's just do it a little bit to the left then. There we go. That should be it. That should be it. Let's just do it again and see. Ah well, we hit the target. It's 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 fine, guys. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> so that is it. I mean, it does, it's not like 100%, but because I need to make sure that the, the staff members can still go up here. I did fix that. Now, let's leave me alone with that, okay? Let's, uh, where am I? Hello? Hello? Oh, there is the... Let's go to the, through the entrance. Yeehaw! I love the lighting right now. The lighting is awesome. It's very early in the morning, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite early in the morning. Uh, sun is just peeking over the hills. I love it. Um... So, let's see how the animals are doing now, because, okay, enrichment is the only thing that's missing. They're missing some toys, but that's okay. Um, they're, gonna, they're gonna get some toys eventually. So, also there is a tree missing over here. That looks a bit too blank. Uh, let me just see. Nature, climbable. Maybe we can give them another one of these. Like that. And then maybe this one can go into the corner again or can this, uh, I think the animals might be able to escape then. So let's say non-climbable and then we're just going to take <laughs> some stuff that is non-climbable for making it a bit better, which would be the bamboo over here. I just want to make sure that the bamboo is not sticking out on top, but yeah, that makes it a bit more green and nice looking. Good, 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 good. Okay, let's just quickly put some uh, toys in. Toys. Uh, because hopefully that's gonna make them you know what we do we put this on top they will reach it eventually and then I'm gonna give them a sprinkler because it's hot I'm gonna give them a sprinkler and also a box to play with uh, the box is going to be here awesome and then I'm also giving them oh well they will be bought so we will need to we'll need to change the things anyway so that is a bit of a bummer but yeah now let's just think if we need to connect this here, we can just quickly do this so that the animals can get on top of this rock. Awesome. So here we go. Let's quickly unpause the game because that should be it for the animals. They should be fine with it. Um, let me just take that one and see how the traversal area is doing for them. So they can basically climb everything, which is nice. They can get up here. They can do, they have the sprinkler here. They have this, they have a stuff to play here. Is every connection I drew working? Yeah, it is. Okay, so hopefully that will make them climb. How's the climbing need fulfilled by... Oh, yeah, okay. So it's it's quite fulfilled, I gotta say. Now, there's barely anything down here what's making them worth staying downstairs. So, oh. Oh, you died. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We caught you dying. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Call the vet. We still have enough enough lions. Lions, that is okay. Let's go to the African house back, okay. I think it looks fairly nice now. Oh, look at that. The, the, oh, look at this. I love it. I love it. Oh, that could also be the screenshot already of this episode. Oh my, I love this one. That is so cool. Actually, this one looks a lot better. <laughs> so, let's, let's just have a look where it's going next. Jips. Okay, it's jumping on top of here. Hey, no, no, keep being in the sun. That was awesome. Because that looks <laughs> looks kind of cool in the sun. Oh, well, whatever. 
Right, so this is mainly the habitat as it is right now. Cleanliness to this risk. Holy moly, macaroni. Who is pooping that much in here? Oh, it's the... I Didn't I change that last time? Indian elephant. I'm quite sure I did change that. However, why are there no keepers doing this stuff? Huh? Because there is... Okay. Zoo. Staff. Keeper. 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 And I guess you must have... Is there like an elephant one? Uh, Indian elephant. There we go. What about you? African habitat. Okay. So why not go in here and, and make some poopy poop? Huh? Just get some pooping. Get that hoover in. Awesome. Oh, look at that. I love how this fruity thing looks. So good. So good, 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 good. Okay. Animal thirsty. Yeah. Oh, wait. I'm gonna... You know what I do? Uh, elephant. And then let's go to drinks. They can have the water trough because I figure these things do work better at the moment. I don't know why exactly, but they seem to. So I'm gonna plop that down here and let it be filled by the staff members. And same goes for one down here. Awesome. So these, <laughs> wow, that one was kicked away heavily. Okay, so it's this one is you're literally just standing by the water. So why are you okay? It is drinking though. Oh, look at that. I love, I love the animation. Come on, drink some more. One more. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. All right, Dolce, Dolce sheep is expecting offspring. Oh, finally some more babies. I was figuring out we had some some problems with the offspring lately. Okay, but no, it's it's getting together here. The animals are pretty happy. So how about the trading? Uh, okay, at least we have some mandrels. Oh, bad one. Anyways, it is a female one, so that's good. Six thousand two hundred. Are you kidding me? That must be a joke. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna bring the girl into her habitat here. To make I, I I do even not remember if how many animals did we have? Oh, okay, so this one animals infected. Do we know the infection already? Because if not Oh it is it is okay, it is research, so that's fine. That is awesome. So what's going on? Animal disease discovered, that is okay. Jupity -ju. <laughs> Love it. Okay, so how are the animals in here doing? Uh, if I would even see one. Hello? Animals? Where are you? There is a branch. Are they just chilling in here maybe? No, they're not. They are so small. I cannot even find them. Um. Mechanic research is complete. Do we have now the... South America theme. Oh yeah, keep researching. There's nothing else you can do. <laughs> um, no, I mean, seriously, where are the animals? Oh, let's see, age, animals. They're all down here. Why are you all down there? I'm gonna take away the drink from you now. Sorry, but I, wait, no, I'm, I'm not gonna take it completely away. I'm gonna put this on top. There you go. Because you need to go up there, okay? So putting some food down here no I'm just gonna give them some food okay some food platform <laughs> oh jeez uh, habitat and let's say again capuchin monkey I'm gonna have feeding platform I'm gonna give them a bigger one this might be a, a slight issue though because I'm I'm not really having space to put this thing down I mean, if the platform is floating a little bit over here, that should not be too much of an issue if the staff member can path below, which I guess he cannot. <laughs> so maybe raising that up makes sense. But then for the guest, that would be pretty... I love how he's going to... Yeah, yeah, that is awesome. Okay, let's try the smaller one, if we can squeeze that somewhere in here. Oh, not really, though. I mean, we can put that down here. That is good. Let's put it down here. And we're gonna put this box somewhere else just to make sure that, you know, they keep moving here. There we go. Now, that is a new feeding platform where they can put it. Awesome. I mean, now they have the food in that rock, I guess, uh, which is not a cool idea. But we're gonna put another one down uh, just on the ground. Okay, my, my problem is putting that down on the ground. You know what? We put this down here, okay? So 
so that should not hinder our dude to walk over and then yeah i love that he that he's taking like <laughs> this <laughs> route <laughs> why though i mean it's okay but why oh i love i love this habitat no it's actually cool so what about your plants need because i put some plants down but not too many right we just we just we just hit it okay so it gets good some more tropical plants why not just give them some banana trees and stuff like that okay so that should be should be all fine nothing too crazy nothing too big and just put some of these plants down here and there i mean we we need to make sure this is still a franchise zoo so we shouldn't overdo it but just a few of these things might just be nice oh look at that the guests also arrived already here i did not see that coming so quickly but yeah well they are here let's nope this one goes all the way down here yeah there we go awesome it's gonna hey mister why are you standing inside my 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 rock i don't like this i don't like this okay so last thing we do we put some donation boxes down and uh, some education stuff and that should be it for today's episode which is 41 minutes already Ooh, i didn't mean to make it that long though okay ambient speaker is always nice we're gonna put one in here to make some jungle noises actually let's Let's hide that on top of the branch. I think that's a nice positioning. And then um, where is the donation box? Put one here, another one here, and another one here. Gonna recolor them soon, but not now. Mm. Education board, here we go. Just one goes here, and the other one goes here. And then we have an educational speaker that goes on top here that should be all fine okay now let's say i'm gonna educate you about the colombian capuchin monkey i'm gonna put this here all right and uh, for each time i say here you're gonna have to drink a bit of milk okay and you're gonna put this all right now that looks fine i'm not really happy with the front as it is right now but i hope that this will be changed soon I'm put some benches down so people can sit down and relax a little bit more to make it more happy 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 and then we will have the jaguar later on in this habitat over here i cannot wait to have the jack that will be so cool this is what we are going to make the next episode guys it's going to be the jaguar in here uh by the way foremost black bear also you are not meant to do this okay so do not inbraid that is this is very generous of you okay so still clean holy macaroni bamboni cannelloni what the hell dang it mr poofy poof how about doing some poofy poof hey don't go there's someone making some poofy poof no 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 no. what about you just okay hmm it's not gonna make it okay so it's not an ideal temperature is it too warm for you just go somewhere else and you are thirsty okay gotcha gotcha it's time to end it here guys i'm gonna just hit pause because i don't want to make them even more thirsty thirsty and i'm gonna i'm gonna end with this wonderful habitat over here i'm quite proud of it to be honest i'm quite proud of it uh, especially considering this is a franchise habitat um it looks kind of cool i guess it's uh, really it's giving this little jungle vibe it has these connections with ropes i guess we can add some more ropes in the future to make them climb a bit more but i think they already do the only thing is we need to get some more animals now but for for what it is i am quite happy okay so i hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, i hope to see you in the next one as well make sure as always to give some feedback if you have any and I cannot wait to tackle the Jaguar next in the franchise. But for now, uh, franchise will return, I think, on Friday, if I'm not completely wrong. Or maybe on Thursday, let's see. Uh, mainly because tomorrow there will be another Sky Gardens. Um, I'm also building for Yosemite. And it is the uh, Koali Zoo week for me. So I'm quite busy working in Koali Zoo. Well, that's it. If you want to see more videos, I have plenty from the weekend. I also highly recommend to check out the Emperor's New Guru Habitat. I really, really enjoyed that one. And yeah, see you in the next one. Have a good time and goodbye, everyone.